In today's video, we are trying out some hacks with salt from a five minute crafts video we saw. Do they work or are they bust? Guys, we've done several debunking videos in the past, <laughs> and several people have sent us a uh, post by Five Minute Crafts on Instagram, which I believe is a cut of one of their longer videos on YouTube or something, uh, showing several different things you can do with salt and asking if it's real or if it's fake. So we're gonna try them out. Personally, I think it looks to me like some of them are real and some of them are fake, so we're gonna find out which ones are which. We've got five of them. Some seem like they are outright magic if they work, so we gotta know. Here's the basic idea. Five Minute Crafts put out a video involving salt. Five different hacks that you can use with salt. Are they real? We're not sure, but we're gonna find out. All right, so the first one, mm -hmm. the clip shows they pour about a quarter cup of salt into a cup and then they just pour some unknown amount of white vinegar into the cup and it reacts. It just expands mm -hmm. and turns into this fluff, it, white yes. fluff that just goes everywhere. So it seems pretty simple. We're gonna take about a quarter cup of salt pour it off into a cup, and we're gonna take some white vinegar, and the vinegar was not measured in their video. No, so it was just like a- just kind of poured it until it got up to here, I don't know, yeah. so I'm just gonna pour vinegar in and see what kind of reaction we get. Um. What? How? All right, salt and vinegar reaction, there we go. Oh, you'd think you'd see this more in science class. Yeah. Well, at least you would. If it was real. At all. <laughs> this is not salt and vinegar. <laughs> this is water, and the powder we used is a formula of sodium polyacrylate that's just designed to make fake snow. Yeah. You mix it with water, that's what we did. That was not salt and vinegar at all. Kudos so, to them to thinking, hey, that looks like salt, let's fool millions of people. Let's just lie. <laughs> All right, there's that, and this is water, so we're not gonna use that. Here's our actual New vinegar. vinegar. And then just keep waiting, because nothing's gonna happen. Hmm. Okay. That's what it actually does. Well, there's a mess. I'll get rid of that. Let's go on to the next one. So, the amazing snow powder. This stuff's fun. You take like a scoop of it mm -hmm. and add a quarter cup of water to it. It makes over two gallons of snow. And it's reusable. It will dry back out, and then you can like get it back as a powder. Uh, but it's not salt. It's sodium polyacrylate. Okay. Do not eat printed right on the container. Next up, video shows taking Coca-Cola, pouring salt into it, and you get a geyser on par with Mentos, Mentos and Diet Coke. I actually don't know. I've never poured a large quantity of salt into any Coke. And but have you ever wanted to? I've never wanted to. I already don't like Coke, so adding a cup of salt to it does not seem like it would improve anything. Then they just poured it right in, they right? They just poured it right All in. Right. They didn't pour it from this container. They had like a a little two cup glass That's container, fine. but just pour oh. as much as you can, as much as you can without stopping. Yep. So it reacted. It did. We okay. definitely got a foam reaction. Theirs was like fountaining, Boom. you know, way up out of there. We but didn't get that. It did work. So that is interesting. Um, we do have some more, so we'll try another soda. Uh, I did start pouring very slowly because I just kind of wanted to see. So let me grab another soda. We'll try it one more time. All right, try number two. There we go. We're yep. just gonna try, uh, we, we had a little bit spill in early this time. I think we're mm -hmm. just gonna go full hog. I think we're actually getting extra height because there's get so much salt around yeah. it that it's like clogging part of it at first and so it's like angling it. Okay, now you had a realization of what it could have been. I thought maybe it was sugar because I know sugar reacts, like makes fizzy things react when you pour it in, so. Well, we'll let's... try it with sugar and see if that has a stronger or weaker reaction than salt. About the same. Yeah. Pretty similar. Mm -hmm. Probably tastes better to drink it after the fact. Since I've got the sodium polyacrylate out, what... you're gonna ruin my science. Yep. I've contaminated science. I'm just gonna pour some of the sodium polyacrylate in and see what happens. Here's the problem. They tell you not to eat this stuff and I'm gonna want to eat this stuff. Good. This is good. This is very, very Coca -Cola good. Coca-Cola snow here. This is very, very good right now. Yes. Wait, you're gonna make a fizzy bomb. That's gonna make a mess, Nate. <laughs> there it goes. 
I did think it was gonna be a drier explosion. I thought it was just gonna pop with like dust. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> You're welcome. This looks like Coke slushy, but it's not. It's like Coke diaper material. Coke diaper material. All right, so the next experiment involves taking vinegar and then pouring some salt into it to clean pennies. But the interesting thing is that in this same video, they showed salt and vinegar turning into this instant snow. So their own video disproves itself. Supposedly, this lovely vinegar salt reaction, they didn't stir it, they just did that. They just poured some salt in and then they took a filthy penny and they dipped it in for half a second. It's just like held it there, took it out and it was bright shiny copper. So let's see if this works. Halfway in, two, three, and, oh, actually it is cleaner. Yeah. Like there's um, a line, you can see where it is. I'm gonna see how long it actually takes for that to. Yes, because vinegar is acidic. I'm not sure if the salt is helpful or not. <laughs> I've cleaned pennies with vinegar before. It works yeah. great. So we're getting somewhere. It uh -huh. is cleaning it. Yep. It's just not anywhere near Four seconds, yeah. I'm just gonna drop one in and leave it. I'll come back to it in a couple minutes. Will vinegar clean pennies? Yes. Yes, it will. I'm gonna get another cup and just add some plain vinegar with no salt and see if it's faster, slower, or different. But you're gonna have to hold it there here's for our, several here's minutes. Here's our one minute progress, approximately. Oh, it helps. Yeah. The vinegar is gonna clean it. The acid is definitely gonna do something. I'm just gonna see what happens if we scrub actually it. scrub. Okay, so in way less time than I spent just letting it sit, I was able to get it much cleaner to a much shinier finish. So here's a just sitting in the vinegar for like a minute, minute and a half, and like 15 seconds of scrubbing it with a paper towel and vinegar. You know? Got some thoughts. I think the salt might actually be helping. All right. Not saying it doesn't, just wasn't sure. This one wasn't in there nearly as long. I'm gonna put some salt on this penny, and then I'm gonna use the vinegar. And then it's not necessarily like cleaning, yes, it's an abrasive, but look at that, okay. So. That took like three seconds. Salt, as it should have just by dipping it in. Salt and vinegar apparently will help you clean pennies. Pretty good cleaner, but if you want it to go fast, I recommend just grabbing a paper towel and actually put some salt on the coin so that it works as a slight abrasive as well. <laughs> All right, so the first experiment, I give a zero out of 10 because yep. I think it was a complete lie. Yeah. The second experiment, I give like a three out of 10. It does yeah. foam. But it's not the fountain. It's not Mentos and Diet Coke kind of reaction. I don't know what they actually did for their video, but I don't this believe one? it was just salt. This one- Seven out of 10. It, it, it works. It cleans. I think the salt does help because mm -hmm. this is cleaning it off, but it's going slower. Yep. So this one went faster. Yep. But it's not, it's yeah, not as the way they depicted it, it was not true. You can't just hold it in for like five seconds, take it out. Oh, it's clean and shiny now. So for our next one, this is something that anybody who's probably been in a science class has tried. Some of you may have tried this. You put down an ice cube, you put down some string, you salt the string and the ice, it all freezes together and you should be able to lift the string and take the ice cube with it. So I believe the idea is the salt combines with a little bit of the ice that lowers the melting point. So some of the water does melt and then it spreads out and the rest of the ice is able to refreeze the water that has melted because it's become so diluted and that frozen bit will actually grab onto the little hairs of the string. You've seen I'm, it done. I'm not saying it can't be or is fake no, it's because not. I think that it can and has been done. So I don't know where the error is, user error, I would assume. I do think that you have to have ice that starts out, like if your freezer is 31 degrees and you have ice in it and then it melts, it may not be cold enough to refreeze what has liquefied. Um, some people's freezers are colder than that, and you know, they're gonna be set to 23 degrees, and so their ice is starting out as colder ice. We you can really see that ours has had problems before. Ice is warmer and colder, but it can obviously be colder. I just took this piece of ice and stuck it in some liquid nitrogen. Throw some salt on there, give it a second. <laughs> it might not melt at all now because liquid nitrogen is so much too cold. This is still so cold that the salt isn't causing it to melt at all. Okay, so it is, it's starting to, this one was much, much, much colder because it's just larger. It is possible, obviously. Like this is something that people do all the time. We're having trouble because our ice is too warm. Guess we need to turn down the temperature on our freezer. But it can be That's done. on us. This piece of ice was too cold from all the liquid nitrogen. So I just dripped some more water onto it to simulate it melting. 
and then refreezing. I mean, it's good in stack. For our last trick. Glue. The idea is that salt can be used, I guess it's to clean spilled glue it says, or something? It says in the video that salt absorbs the glue so you can just brush it off. So they covered their hands in glue and salt and then brushed it off. All right, so what they show in the video, their hand, their hand mostly closed like they're the magician doing a magic trick. Mm -hmm. Then they took some white glue and they just poured it down into their hand like a crazy person. Yeah, they poured some salt in there after it. All right, so that's more salt than is necessary, but oh, glue is dripping. But then they just kind of meshed it around like this. And it just fell out of their hand. And they were able to just brush their hand off. You know, not bad. Wait, it worked. I Guys, mean, that not, worked. Not on this part where the it salt- It wasn't, there was no salt. The salt didn't get there because the glue ran down my hand in ways that the salt didn't, but- It dried it immediately. All right, so let's assume I'm a child doing a craft project and I used too much glue and I missed by just a little bit. But mom will be like, oh, don't worry, I got this. Wait, it's a kid, so there's definitely one of those in oh, there. yeah. All right, mom's just like, okay, fortunately my child did this on a hard surface and not on the carpet. All right, let's see if your mistake is reversible. Ha! I think that did a pretty good job. You're gonna have to, you know, clean this up, but you should be able to sweep it mm -hmm. or vacuum it pretty well. So the first one, total bunk. Yep. Second one, yeah, it had some truth to it, but not as they showed. Mm -hmm. the third one was penny. The, the penny cleaning in salt and vinegar. It does work, but again, not the way they showed. Yeah, but salt does make it clean better than just vinegar, it looks like. It's true. And then the ice one, I think does that work. We can give them a pass. Our equipment isn't cold enough. And then the salt to clean up white glue. That Absolutely. seems to work great. There you go. So definitely viable. We like to debunk things and we also like to test out these videos. So if you've got another one, you want to see us do something with it, send it over our way on Instagram. Guys, that's not all. You know, we've always got more for you to see. Click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.